when you enter your information in your table and you come across a problem where maybe the date is wrong or the price is, is not the way it is entered, you can at any time go back to view, design view of your table and go change the data type or go fix a mistake that you've made in your design view. Then you can close your design view and go back to your table. If we look at the next instruction, use the table tomato stock to make the following changes. Sort the name of the product field in ascending order. Name of product. There's a little arrow next to your field names there. If you click on the arrow, you get sort A to Z or Z to A. Ascending order, A to Z. So you click on A to Z and your product field will be from A to Z sorted. Change the date format to long date. Now people, like I just told you, at any time you can go back to your home view, design view. They want us to change the date format to long date. Remember the date we chose was a short date. So go to date received, date and time, format, click on the down arrow and make it long date. When I close my structure or my design view, it's asking me if I want to save it. Yes, I want to save it. When I open my table again, you will see now, remember your date has changed now. You will see that it doesn't fit in the column. Those little hash signs shows me that there's a problem. So I will have to go back and I have to make my columns bigger so that all the information fits in that column that I've changed now again. Then the instruction says, make sure that all fields are on one page and that all data is visible, make a printout. Once again, people, file, print, print preview, remember landscape, I have to make it landscape. A table can never be on two pages. So I have to change my orientation to landscape so that I can fit all my columns. At any time, you can go back to view, design view. In your design view, you can change your design of your table, the data type or the field name, or you can enter a new field, or you can delete an existing field Let's say, for instance, they tell us to add another field. You can type in the field and you can put in the da a data type or you can delete a field. How do I delete a field? If I have to delete the price of stock field, for example, I click on it, right click and delete. If I have to insert a field, between two existing fields, remember a field always inserts to the top. So if I have to insert a field between name of product and supplier, right click on supplier, insert, and my field will be inserted to the top. If I want to delete a field, I right click and I delete it. A field always or a row always inserts to the top. So if it's between code of item and name of product, I click on name of product. If it's between price of stock and stock available, I click on stock available. Right click, insert, and my row will insert. Right click, delete.